In this video, I'm going to go through another example of using Dijkstra's algorithm. And this time, we're going to find the shortest distance from A to H. And I'm going to want to find the roots that give me that as well. OK, so we're going to start off with A. So that gets labelled as 1 and the final value as 0. So then we look at the roots coming out of A. So we've got to B is 8, so that goes in the working value there, to D is 18, and to C is 8. Now, because these are both 8, and they're the next smallest, uh, you can pick either of them. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one you pick, uh, you might see that there are, are alternatives uh, given in mark schemes when there are choices. So, I'm going to pick that one. So uh, that's going to get labelled as the second one, and so 8 goes in the final value box. Now 8 plus 15 is 23, so that goes in there, and 8 plus 7 is 15, which is better than 18, so I'll put comma 15. Okay, so the next shortest is C, so that gets put in as the third one to be considered, and the final value is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16, which is not better than 15, so I don't write anything down. 8 plus 12 is 20, and that goes in there. Okay, so the next shortest is D. So that is the fourth one to be considered, and 15 gets put in the final value box. 15 plus 6 is 21, which is better than 23. 15 plus 9 is 24. And 15 plus 6 is 21, which isn't better than 20. OK, so the next shortest is an F. So that gets picked fifth. 20 goes in the final value box. 20 plus 9 is 29. OK, I've exhausted all roots out of F. So the next shortest is E. So E gets picked next. And 21 gets put in the final value box. 21 plus 8 is 29. OK, so that's not better than the 29 I already have there, so I don't write anything down. So the next one to get picked will be G. So 7, 24 goes in the final value box. 24 plus 8 is 32, which isn't better than 29. And then finally, 8 goes in there, and 29 as the final value. So I know that the shortest distance from A to H is 29. So now I want to find the root that gets me there. So let's start from H, so we work backwards. Now 29 take away 8 is 21, so back to E will work. Now I do know also that 29 take away 9 is 20, so there are actually two routes through. So we're, let's deal with this one first, that H to E is 21. Then 21 take away 15 isn't 8, so 21 take away 6 gets me to D, so that's right, so for D. Then 15 uh, take away 7 gets us to B, and then take away 8 gets us to A. So A, B, D, E, H is one of the possible routes. Or from H we go back to F. So 29 take away 9 is 20. Then 20 take away 12 gets us to 8, so C. And then 8 take away 8 gets us back to A. So there are two possible routes through the system, both of which give us a shortest distance of 29. OK? And so that's how we can find the shortest distance from A to H using Dijkstra's algorithm in this example.